You know, one of the most common questions I'll get from new uh, real estate investors that's never heard of that strategy, they'll say, well, who in their right mind would agree to deed me their house and keep the mortgage in their name? And I tell them I'm going to make their payments. Well, the answer is a motivated seller that, that it's looking for debt relief. <laughs> yes. And I, that's probably the number one question I also get. And I tell people, I say, you know, like to a brand new student, I would say, listen, you have to understand you're not in that situation. That person doesn't want to lose their house to foreclosure. If I make their payments every month that I make an on-time payment, their credit gets better. So if I say, hey, Jay, deed your house to me, I'll make payments and in five years, I'll refinance it, take your name off of it and release you of the obligation. I make all the payments on time for five years. You had a foreclosure, you were doing bad, then you have five years of perfect payments. Your credit's great now. So it helps them reestablish their credit opposed to letting it go to the bank and going through the entire foreclosure process, which as you know, gives them a foreclosure on their credit and knocks their credit score down like 150 points. So a subject two is a benefit for them, of course, as long as the investor makes the payments. So, you know, I tell people, listen, if your motto is not people before profits and you're a scumball, don't do this. <laughs> right. Exactly. So it's a good thing for the homeowner and it relieves them. They just, you know, they're at the point where they just want to leave. They're like, I, I don't even care. I just, I just want out. Exactly. They, they don't think that way, but it is a common, I'm sure you get this almost the same question all of the time. Exactly. Um, so yeah. So if someone, so just to make sure everybody understands <clears throat> if someone's in foreclosure, but their house has not gone to sale yet, at the courthouse steps, then buying it subject to the existing note is the preferred way for you to buy it. Now you got to have the cash flow to bring those back payments current. And of course you can use private money in a small second position if you don't have the cash yourself to bring it current. Now you mentioned private money a moment ago, uh, Dwan, and that is there's another kind of foreclosure and the other kind of foreclosure are what we call bank owned properties. So yeah. it's too late to help the people then. Right. Yes. Because now it's gone back to the bank and with an REO or real estate owned or bank owned, can't buy those foreclosures subject to because uh -huh. the seller's not in the picture. So You're that's done. where we have to use the private money, of course. So, uh, one, you know, uh, so I'm sorry. So one, of, I just jump in real quick. So one of the things that's great about private money is if someone finds a homeowner and they're able to do a short sale, and you know, you have a $200,000 house, the bank agrees to take 125, you have to buy the house. And a lot of investors are like, well, I don't have the money or the credit or this or that. And that's why they need a private money because the bank's like, Hey, I'll take, I'll take 50% of the deal, but you're not going to make payments to us. You have to buy it. Exactly. And you can flip it, you can rehab it, you can do whatever you want to do with it, but you still got to buy it. So I'm always telling people, you've got to find private money if you want to play in that section of real estate investing. Someone's got to step up and give you cash. Exactly, exactly. So I got another question for you while we're on the uh, topic of foreclosures. So we know how to locate these. I mean, there are people that their houses are in foreclosure, hasn't gone to sale yet. Uh, it's public record. So what is your preferred method or methods of contacting these people. How do you get up with them? Do you knock on their door? Do you mail them a letter? Do you skip trace them? Do you text uh, them? What do you do? You know, I got to tell you, it's been 30 years. I, I still like to go door knocking. And I know people are thinking like, oh, if I have to door knock, I'm not going to do it. But when you show up at their door, n nobody does that. And people, psychologically think like, Oh my gosh, they're going to be mad. They're going to scream. They're going to yell. They're going to slam the door in my face. But people are so grateful and they're so happy. And they're just so they're really like, Oh my gosh, someone came to try to help me. I can't believe it. So I still like to go door knocking. Um, I still do it today that we just bought 15 buildings in Iowa and we went and talked to all the people in person. None of them were listed. They weren't the MLS. We went and talked to people in person. But I also understand that if you're hearing me say that and you're like, oh my gosh, no, I'm not doing, 
shocking. You can mail postcards. I guess postcards would be the next best thing. Send the people a postcard and let them know that you have a solution to their property problem. Don't have a postcard that says, I buy houses cash. Have a postcard that says something like, are you facing foreclosure? Question mark. Behind on payments? Question mark. Did COVID you know, mess you up? Question mark. Going through a bankruptcy? Question mark. I have solutions for your property problems. Call me for a free consultation. And let me see how I can help you. So, yeah. so postcards would be my, uh, but a, a soft postcard. I, I, hate, I, I hate when people say, I have a house is cash. You know, I see you. I'm, call me, call me, call me. People are looking for a solution and they don't need to feel like you're some investor that just wants, I buy houses cash. Right. So I, I don't like that approach. I feel like when you, when you make a card that says, Hey, are you a bankruptcy question? Going through a divorce, unwanted property question mark. So like, yes, yes, yes. Oh, a free private consultation. Okay. Let me just call and see. So it's a right. soft opening. 